Hyder. So a couple of months ago, I uploaded to YouTube this this video about my procedural ski resort, and I also got this miniature style renders. And yeah, uh, I wanted to share it with you guys. I think that can be nice to have it in some background and scenes. Also, maybe even closer looks. You can see what you can do with it. The Blender 5 will be available on Gumroad for 10 euros. So yeah, uh, here is a little tutorial of how to use it. Um, you can obviously contact me uh, with any type of question or whatever you need. Uh, for having it in your Blender project, you just need to go to File, Append, and then here you will see something like Ski Resort Append. This Blender file, so you double click on it, go to Object, and here you will see ski, this Ski Resort object, you just need to click on Append. And now you see that apart from the, this Ski Resort, you have some other objects appended than just hide them okay and now uh, this is this object is called ski resort and it will have this geometry node modifier and I'm going to go through all the all the um, possible parameters and what you, can, what you can do with them let me now go to solid view so you can see a little bit better how this works um, size X will change scale in the x direction size y the same but in the y slope will make it more or less step how snow will change how much snow you have in the mountains so zero will mean no trees and one uh, have it trees. Then you can change uh, the number of ski lifts. And seat would change where are these ski lifts located. If you want to have clouds, you want to here have a one. So if you see. If you one to create some clouds. Why I did this is because if you go to Solid View and you want to change the stuff and you have the clouds activated, um, then you will have this kind of box here that I really don't like. So then, if you click zero, you can just change everything here, and then when you are done, just put it again one, and you have it here. You can change the density. Now the height of the clouds would mean that if you go to for example minus one, here they are will be more in the bottom, but you can always increase it a little bit and you will have more higher clouds. Now uh, you can also change the offset on of these clouds so you can you know, like simulate. Uh, a win situation. Fences basically will delete these fences here on the side of the of the ski lifts. So if you feel that they are bothering you or something, you can just go and delete them. Now, if I would go okay, more like a Night steam here. Yeah, you could you could add some lights so you have more like a night ski shot. Okay, so that's all. Thank you very much for watching. And as I said, please contact me for feedback or for any question that you have. No problem. Thank you.